So I'm going to show you how to park going up a steep hill. So we're going to do a parallel park going up a steep hill. I'm going to look around all the way. So my car's going downhill right now, but then we're going to reverse back up once we get next to this car here. Checking all around. Then my clutch is down. All I'm using is gravity to push us down for the moment and using my brake to control the speed. So my clutch is all the way down and just using my brake to control how fast I go. Once I get to the uh, my first point, I'll put my car into reverse straight away. I'm going to use the handbrake here, so just so I've got the car secured. And then once I've done that, I'm going to get my car to the biting point, get the clutch to the biting point, look all around. And once it's safe, I'm going to put my handbrake down and start reversing back slowly to my first turning point. I can see a motorbike coming, so I'm just going to stop for him. But he's going all the way up to his turning right, so I don't need to worry about him anymore. So then carry on. What you don't want to do when you're doing this maneuver is, let's say you want to slow down. Don't put the clutch all the way down, because you see, when you do that, the car rolls forward. Instead, if you want to slow down a bit, what you do is push the clutch down a tiny bit, you see? So it's up there, and then if I push it down a tiny bit, it will slow down. If I push it down too much, it goes forward, which is what we don't want. So we don't want to keep rocking back and forth. So to prevent that, we're just going to bring the clutch down a tiny bit if I want to slow down, just like there. Then up again a tiny bit if I want to go back. Looking all around again, checking that it's safe. Once I get to my first turning point, I'll turn it one turn to the left. I can see a car coming down the hill, so I'm keeping an eye on them. When they get close, I'm going to stop, but for now, they're kind of far away. Then once I get to my second turning point, my car, that car is kind of near, but they're stopping. So I'll get my biting point again, and then turn one turn to the right, checking all around still, keeping an eye on that car, but they're waiting patiently. And then once I get to my second or my third turning point, look around again for that car. He's going past, so I'm going to brake. You notice each time I'm braking as well, I'm braking first and then putting my clutch down. Because if I put my clutch down first, remember, the car is going to roll forward, which is what we don't want. There is a cyclist coming down the road, so I'm just going to wait for him. And then once he goes past, I'm going to get my biting point again with my foot still on the brake. And then bring the clutch just to there. And then adding a tiny bit of gas, looking around and then straightening up. I was getting closer to the pavement, straightening up my walls about there. And then once I'll... I'm finished, I'm going to put my brake on first and then clutch down, handbrake on quite high, neutral, come off the clutch smoothly and off the brake, you see the car kind of sits on itself and then that's done.